Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sandy here from Nashville. I'm excited about today's video. I have got some of my favorite things for you and I love recommending and sharing things that I love. Some of the things I've talked about before in other videos, if you're like, I've already heard about that, then please don't miss the end of the video. I've definitely saved the best for last. Here we go. Here are a few of my favorite things. All right, guys, the first thing that I want to bring you guys for our favorites or for my favorites are the Faber Castle. Okay, let me just start over. Like, I need to just say this for the whole video. To, this is how I should start off. I just want to apologize for um, Miss, I can't even think of what I'm trying to say, uh, misnaming things or like saying the wrong name, like being able to pronounce things. That's what I'm trying to say. I apologize for mispronouncing probably everything that I'm going to tell you about, but that's just how it is. I'm going to do my best. All right, so these, let's just start off with the first bad pronunciation. These Faber-Castle polychromas. Here's my assortment. All right, here's the info on them. They're break resistant. This is what the thing, like the stuff, if you go to a store, this is what it says about them. Break resistant, water resistant, smudge proof. They're about $1.97 or a little over $2, depending on where you get them. This is one I did recently with two colors, two different kind of pinks and a burgundy. Number two favorite is Flash Paint. I love the stuff. I'm really only using it, you know, in my sketchbook. You can thin it down, you can make it thick. It mixes well, the colors blend well together. It's smooth, it stays wet at just the appropriate time. Let me read to you what the description, like I went to Blick, which is where I buy my supplies, and let me just read to you what the description said. I had to read this three or four times, but first let's get to, the first part is serious. Extra fine vinyl paint, which vinyl, it really just is like acrylic, but it does feel better than acrylic because I hate acrylic. All right, dries evenly with intense coverage to a uniform velvety matte opaque finish. That's important. That's one of the reasons that those of us that love this stuff, that's why we love it. Highly pigmented, may be diluted with water to create a range of results from highly opaque to transparent water color effect. And that's true. It really does do that. Okay. Use flash vinyl paint indoors or out on canvas, paper or walls with brushes, paint guns, or sponges. Now that is what got me. thought it was very interesting that it talked about how you could paint on guns. I was thinking, is that like a new thing that people are painting on their guns? Like, is that kind of like hip now to do? I mean, I'm definitely not in the gun gang. Anyways, I thought that is a very specific niche. Is that the right word? Actually, what gave me a clue after I read it three or four times that it can be used in paint guns, but if you do need to paint your gun, you can use this too. You may be looking to paint your gun and Here's the paint for you. There's two different sizes, 125 milliliters. It's pretty good size. Let me compare it to my hand. And then this size, this is the big one. So there you can see the two. This is 400 milliliters. This one ranges around 11 or $13, depending on where you buy it. And then this bigger one is $26. Now you may think, whoa, geez, that sounds like a lot, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of paint in here and it's gonna take me a long time to get through with this. And I only got the big one in the white because because I just did. Okay, we better move on because I have a lot of stuff to share with you for favorites. Sketch books. I have two sketch books to share with you guys that I love that are my top favorite. This first one, I've mentioned this one before. This You've seen this maroon one. It is, it's a soft cover, Stillman and Burn acrylic alpha series, and it's 100 pound paper. It's it really just depends on, like I paid 22 or $23 for mine and I got it at a local art store, but I looked today on Blick and I think they have them for like $15. So I'm probably gonna be purchasing another one of these via Blick. And y'all are probably gonna ask, I can't really remember what size this is. I think I have the info though on the other video that I did called Supply Haul. So this is flash paint. It just takes paint really well. That's flash paint. I just love it. It's like the perfect paper. I'm loving the flat, laying flat page. On to my next favorite sketchbook. Have you guys seen these? Black Derwent. This is a big one. So I have this one, but it's got a sticker on it. Like that's not the logo. And this is 
oh, y'all are going to ask me sizes and I just don't know. Like there's A5, all that kind of stuff. I have no idea. You can tell it by my head. I think it's probably like eight by 11. Then I have this big square one. And then for some reason, I thought that I would really like this ginormous one. Okay, let's just do it like this. So you can see how big, that's how big it is. I would never paint in this. And then when I do, when I do paint in it, I never finish a page. So I don't know, you either like to paint big or you don't. And I don't think that I do. Let me show you one big page in here though that I did finish. This is gouache. I have to get way far back. So that's gouache on it. You can see how pretty the paint is. And I painted kind of transparent on that page. Probably should have picked a smaller sketchbook. <laughs> Let me get one of my smaller ones to show you some examples. Oh, and the beast. It's just too big. Here's another gouache. I just want you to see how vibrant the paint is. It's so beautiful. Oh, I wanted you to see what it looked like with oil pastels, for those of you that like to do oil pastels. If you wanna see what it looks like with like pen, this is the jelly roll pen. I mean, how in the world am I supposed to tell if it's in the frame? I have one in here that's not good, but I'm just gonna show it to you anyways, because it's the flash paint on this black paper. And I just want you to see how vibrant it is. Again, not a great sketch, but just vibrant. Really whatever medium you like, it's a good choice. So if you've not tried that, give that a try. Did I give you the information for that? Derwent Black Book. It's 130 pound paper, 135 pound paper, acid free. And it just depends on the size that you get but I'm gonna say around 24-ish dollars, give or take, depending on the size. Next, favorite paper towels. Anybody else love Viva? I do not, will not use any other paper towel in the studio. You just can't beat this. It's like a rag, they're great. Go get you some Viva. I'm telling you, it's worth the price. Number, I don't know what number we're on, but I've got a good one for you if you don't know about this. My next favorite. Anybody use this for a brush cleaner? Yes, the absolute best brush cleaner. And I have a jumbo, this may last me my entire life, a jumbo bottle or whatever this is called. Murphy Oil Soap, Safe Looking Cleans Wood. They should put on there also safe and cleans your gentle or your delicate paint brushes. It's wonderful. Let me know if you'd like me to do a video on how to care for your brushes. Next. This is a good one. If you don't know about this, you're gonna be thanking me. I want to share with you my favorite painting videos and they are all from the same artist. If you do not know about Peggy Carl Roberts, you need to go look her up. I'm gonna put a link below. She is a great artist. I love her work. She's had the biggest influence on me. She is the most generous person and she has a whole slew. Let me see if I can hold these all out of videos that are so, so, so good. And they are so reasonably priced. That is because she's, everything she does is generously priced. She, it's just, she does things that are affordable and it's such high quality. They're $24.95 for a DVD. She also has these great packs. You can get like X amount for cheaper kind of thing. And then she also has on demand and pay-per-view stuff. You're gonna receive a ton of great training. Is that the right word? teaching for a great price. I mean, just for a fraction of the price you're gonna find anyplace else. She'll take just one lesson. So let me just give you some examples. Like this is gathering information. She tells you how to just get out there and gather information. Her painting style is amazing. Here's surface quality. She teaches you how to get some surface quality. Figures in light. If you have been wanting to like do better figures, figure painting stuff, she's the lady to go to because she has, she has a lot on the figure, simplified figure proportions. Excellent one. This one was so helpful to me. All of them been helpful. They're just great. Okay. High key value. I'm not going to go through all of them, even though I do have all of them. I'll put a link below. You just really cannot go wrong with Peggy. So with Peggy Crow Roberts, that leads me to my next to last of my favorite. I want to tell you about my two favorite workshops. So the two I'm going to mention are Peggy Crow Roberts and Nancy Gruskin. And they both are in the United States. I mean, who knows? They may would travel someplace else if you pay enough. You should 
hats. I think I've taken three, maybe four, but I know at least three workshops of Peggy. I have a whole video on Nancy Gruskin's workshop. Last video I posted was on Nancy Gruskin, so go check that out. Just great, great teachers. They're so down to earth. They give you lessons that you can do, and the only way I can really sum it up is it's an experience. In fact, if you really are serious about taking one of her workshops, don't watch or read too much of like my blog post or my video because I don't want it, want it to be given away because she's just, it's, there's just an experience and um, I don't know, it's really amazing. If she comes back to Nashville again or if I'm in an area where she's doing another workshop, I'm totally taking her workshop again because she's great. All right, last but not least, I wanted to share with y'all some of my favorite internet stuff. Vlog, a favorite YouTuber, and a YouTuber slash video vlogger. So that's what's coming up next. And I hope I do these guys justice because I love the work that they're doing via video and podcast. All three of them are Australian people. They live in Australia and they interview Australian artists. Anyways, I'll tell you all about it coming up. I do hope I do them justice. I hope they feel like I represented them well because they're great. Go check them out. And the worst about it, if I find like a good one, I just like ravishly watch all the videos and I tell myself, Sandy, pace yourself. You're going to be done too soon. And I'm like, I can't. I gotta watch it all right now. All three of these um, was like that. I just watched all their stuff. Anytime there's a new one that comes up, man, I'm like on it. Here they are. Melanie Chadwick has a great YouTube channel and she has a section on there that she calls Creative Conversations. And she does these amazing interviews with artists. She goes into their studio, their creative spaces where they work and create and make. And she, as she interviews them, she also shows us around their space. And it is absolutely a visually stunning series and I cannot get enough of it kind of like this wallpaper right here check out that bird and nest wallpaper here's one more a little peek into Melanie's creative conversations another artist slash illustrator she goes in and, and just gives us a great peek into this artist space and the, the interview is just wonderful so go check her out this next one is called Talking with Painters. It's another Australian-based podcast that also has some amazing video with it. Maria interviews Australian artists and does a short video while she's there in their studio. She does such a great job with the video that I think she should do the whole interview in video. Hint, hint, Maria. The way she does it is she goes in, interviews the artist, and while she's there, she takes a little bit of video and does a little bit of the interview in video. And I'm telling you, it is absolutely wonderful. I usually watch the videos multiple times. The whole podcast is awesome. I often am working in my studio and will have one of her podcasts going. It's just very inspiring and I definitely think you should check her out. The last YouTube channel I want to share is a favorite of mine. She is an illustrator and artist. Her name is Sean, also known as Furry Little Peach, and just look at her. She is so cute, so hip, so stylish, and I think just absolutely wonderful with what she does with her channel. She's so fun. Her channel is just filled with creativity, fun, laughter. She's just hysterical. Her art is so different from mine, but I, I just love it. There's a playfulness to it. And as soon as she puts a video up, I go and watch it. I usually just have zero self-control to wait. In her videos, you get to see a lot of her studio, her design process of how she works as an illustrator. She also has these great Q&A times where she answers questions from her different subscribers. She does DIY stuff. Just, it is filled with just all kinds of creativity and I think you will love it. So go check Sean out and give her some love. All right, guys, so that was some of my favorite things. I would love to hear about some of your favorite things, some of your favorite art supplies, some of your favorite workshops or teachers, art videos. I would definitely love to know about your favorite YouTubers, art YouTubers, or podcasts, or art like vlogs. So leave those down below. I want to hear about them. Thanks for visiting. Thanks for taking time to watch the video. I so appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all the things. Thanks again, guys. Bye.